These are results we used in the uh, example video that showed you how to create the production study, taking the information that you collected on the floor uh, by just observing the activities from various machines. The trick here is to have this study in progress item in your study, and that lets you record the entire time of the study. So you can see this one went from 10.34 to 10.37. During that time, various activities happened. You've got other here, barcode, read error, alignment, alignment, apart jam, and out of parts. And from that, once you have that data, all you do is you load it back in here. You click on the production study uh, link here, and it's going to take that information. It's going to present all of the machines in this section for you. So in this example here, you can see I had 14 machines here. So the value you see here, 3.675 is actually the time here. I'm working in seconds here, so I could convert it to minutes so you can see the same value. Go to options, go to general, and just convert it to minutes here. And you can see it's roughly 3.675. So what we're going to do here is show you how you actually perform this time study here. Okay, so what I've done here is compress the, uh, the data uh, and so we can see it uh, at the same time as we can see the iPad here. Now remember, in the subjects area, we have defined a study and then we've got machine 1 through machine 14 here. So there's 14 machines in this area, and there's also a study of the subject here. Now, by default, the very first subject is always going to be the first item shown in your uh, device here. So you can see at the top here it says study. I'm pointing at it right now. That's a study right here. And you can see the subjects by hitting on the SUB, the subject button at the bottom right here. So you can see if I bring that up here, whatever is in the Excel sheet, is now presented to you here, study and then the, the 14 machines. So now we're ready to start our time study. So let's go back and look at the elements that we actually recorded here. So you can see the first thing is the study in progress. So what you do is you start your study. This may be at the beginning of the shift, for instance, and you hit the start button and the time will start recording at the bottom left here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap on the study in progress button here. So that's associating this time as being the study and the studies in progress. That's all we have to do here. So now all we do is we go back down here, we're going to tap on the SUB for the subject button. And you can see the first thing that happened in my example, there was a machine number two and the, there was an other in there. So something we hadn't expected happened here. So all I do is you can see here, here's my little hub if you like, this is monitoring what's going on. I'm just going to touch the machine two and that will change my display to say machine two at the top here. So now when that happened, all I did was I hit the start button and it basically recorded the time starting here. You can see it recorded here. I said it was other, so I can touch the other. I give it a name and um, I'm not quite sure of the time here. It looked like that was a little bit later in the study here, but it doesn't really matter. You've got that there. And when it finishes, you hit the stop. And what that's going to do, that's going to give you this other transaction right here. So down here you have machine four. Now machine four had two occurrences. First I had a barcode read and then I had an alignment issue. So you can see right here, if I go back to my subject now, I just switch to machine four. And you can see machine four at the top here. I hit the start. And the first thing I had was a barcode error. You can see it right here in this cell right here. So I'm going to start, I'm going to say that's a barcode error. Now let's say while that was happening, uh, machine eight, something happened to machine eight. It's not necessarily what the data is saying here, but I just want to show you this. So I can switch to the sub here, and now you can see it's showing me here this one is currently down with a bar barcode read error. So I can now go to machine 8. I just tap on machine 8. It switches to machine 8 here. And then I can say I start something happened there, and what happened to machine 8 was an alignment issue. So I select the alignment. And let's say during that alignment, the machine 4 get fixed, it started running again. So I just go to my subject, and you can see here it's showing me the study still in progress. Here's my barcode read error, here's my alignment. I'm going to go back to machine 4, and I'm going to stop that. So I just hit the stop button. Doing that will remove the activity from the subject area here. You can see machine 4 is now gone, right? And then machine 12 is an issue, so I scroll down a little bit. I select my machine 12 here. I see what happened there, I hit the start button. And what happened to machine 12 was a part jam. So I select the part jam. And let's say, well, that was happening. Machine 13 went out of parts. So I can come out here and I can go to machine 13. I start that and it goes out of parts. 
And you can see here, it's actually a hub, but this is showing you everything that's happening here. So you can see the studies in progress up at the top here. Machine 8 is currently down with the alignment. Machine 12 has got a parts jam. Machine 13 has got parts out. And let's just say the parts part jam was the next one to get fixed. So we stopped that. We just hit the stop button. And that clears it from the list here. And then it's maybe the alignment. So we can go to machine 8 and just stop that. Again, use your subjects box here to keep track of everything that's happening. And then the out of parts stops. And at the end of the day, when you finish your shift, you just come back up. You're going to switch back to the study. And you're going to say stop that as well. So these transactions I just created here is what would create the uh, the screen that you showed here with the study in progress. That covers the whole spell of the study. And that's kind of important because whatever the first item is, is the item that gets passed over here to the uh, process summary. So it has to be the longest. And everything else is just assuming that they must have been running if they were not down. So you can see here, these are the down times here. And that gives you access to the various reports that you saw earlier. Like up here in the reporting area, you can go to your production study report. You can export it to Excel. Here's the process summary showing you where the downtime was for the different machines that were involved here. Then you go to the asset detail. This shows it in the proper sequence, the same sequence. You can see the total time here, and then your machine downtime. Again, focusing from the highest to the lowest again. Then the downtime analysis that just summarizes it so you can see the different kinds of activities that are occurring on the different machines so you know where to focus your maintenance and improvement efforts.